So this room has been neglected as well and I want to do some work inside my CNC lab. Let's take a look. So it's pretty messy in here right now because I've been taking a lot of things out of other rooms and putting it in here. Plus I've been using this for a workshop and it just gets naturally dirty. But I want to fix this room up and see what I can do to make it work better. If you look over here, there's a bottleneck over here. I can still use this cabinet and I make coffee here, but uh, you can't get in behind here very easy. So I thought about moving these two machines over to this side and then taking this cabinet and making it over here, putting it over here. There's the bottleneck I was telling you about. It's kind of wasted space. And I have things in here like my my drill press and all my drills and taps and stuff. It's not very organized right now. A bunch of clamps and stuff like that sitting here. And I've got all these shelves that have been in disarray for a while that I'd like to clean up and organize. And this bench is a really great workbench again made out of stainless steel so that'll definitely stay besides that I think it's too big to get out the door anyway so yeah here's a before and see what the after looks like okay early update we're getting in tight corners we're moving out wires a lot of wires I forgot about like the ethernet and stuff like that so I'm going to have to reposition that stuff, but that's just all part of it. And look, I have another giant hole. Maybe I'll make it a takeout window, what do you think? I'm bound to find some things while I'm cleaning up here at the shop. This is a project I made probably about uh, year 2000. And this is actually how I learned a lot of my electronics, just by doing this was an LED sign and I was really into LED signs and I wanted to make my own and this is the result of my testing this is as far as I ever got with this particular project but uh, I think it's time to get rid of this but it uh, kinda looks neat to see how I used to do things look at all that wiring so I actually made up the LCD grid too you know Look at that mess. But I learned a lot from this project. This would allow input from the parallel port to control what was said on the sign. And this was just one of up to eight panels that you could put on this. You could see I started expanding with just stuff I had for experimenting. And to see if it was something that I could do in large scale and I just kind of lost interest even though I did get this to work. It would run from QBasic, and I would go in and run it right from DOS QBasic. Look at that. But uh, this used a decade timer and would latch the eight different displays. And then it has an octo latch, one of these. I think it was one of these. Yeah, this was the octo latch. And that would allow for the uh, change of state of the lights and to um, keep a buffer going, if you will. And then the uh, power supply here is just a simple 5 and 10 volt DC power supply that I slapped together. But yeah, look at those resistors. I had, I remember I uh, used to have to make sure they were all not touching when I would test this. <laughs> yep, did some crazy things, but it uh, helps you learn when you do things like this the hard way. So yes, some things have been going on in here. Just like I told you, the machines are now on this side. And that uh, stainless steel counter is on this side. And this took us about a day to do, believe it or not. We had to empty everything out of here. We removed everything down underneath the CNC machines, unplugged everything. And there's still some things to do, but this is the gist of it. Uh, I've pulled this machine out in this position on purpose. 
this is the machine that we're going to be putting the new controller on that I am building in the other shows. Down here is the last controller that I built, this black one, and I've showed this before on the show. But uh, yeah, this one is going to get the new controller, and we're going to do a few upgrades to this home-built machine. This is my homemade gyro machine that I got the plans off CNC zone and built this. And we're going to be hooking up some stepper motors um, and wiring up the E switches and the stop switches and the homing switches and all that stuff that uh, people ask questions about we're going to be doing to this machine. And it's a good candidate because uh, it's it's fully open you know like this metal machine over here the switches are inside those uprights you know you can't see the wires and stuff for this one you can see the wires and the switch right there so yeah in coming weeks we're going to be in here a lot messing with this hooking up the new controller let me know what you think about the new layout. I know it looks pretty much the same. It's just uh, giving us a little more room in here. And we can take advantage of this window with the uh, CNC machines being better lit. And we've opened up this corner here um, so we can get into these cupboards. And things may change and we might move things around, but this is it for now. So I hope you like this video and uh, you'll stay tuned for the upcoming CNC videos that we're having. Should be uh, a lot of fun. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Saturday. Don't forget to get the thumbs up. Bye for now.